All right, so Connor this is the first say. ever Kong cast with your host, Connor Sinclair, the host with the most. Today's topic, State of the Union, a.k.a. Jump Snipers. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Mech Warrior 4 H edition. Yeah, yeah. Mech Warrior 4. <laughs> Proudly presented by NVIDIA and Crytek. Mech Warrior you... 4. So, how did we get point here? One. How did we get here? Let's think yeah, way back a lot of when. stairs, apparently. Design stairs. Yeah. It, it's, mm -hmm. like Limery said, it is that ranged weapons, like, no one carried a large laser. Now, if you're not carrying a large laser or a PPC, you're not in, you're going to be, you'll have, you'll be shooting your flashlight at someone who's firing a laser cannon at you. Which because... isn't something you want to do. You want to hurt them. Yes. I'm, I, I'm thinking back to the competitive meta, because I was actually still playing at the time. Uh, Cataphract 3D, and they had just added the jump jet change, where you would go into the air much quicker, but then slow out. Do you guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Because before, didn't... We, well, I think, I think Norris calculated the Highlander's jump rate at being like he what, did. He was 10 meters. That right yeah. when we got he got those. it pretty close. And then he got it on the dots, <clears throat> I think. From there, people started using medium lasers and just popping over the hill a little bit. Then it expended to Gauss rifles and ERPPC. Oh, I was using and... LRMs with my jump jets. Like, yeah. I, oh, yeah. this, was, this was before and... missiles got nerfed. So. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is in the olden days, for those of you uh, listening in. The or olden new. days of a month or two. Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you just have been, only been playing for four weeks. A day is a year in this game. Yeah. We're hardened veterans at this point. We just want to die. We are. <laughs> uh... So uh, we're talking about the uh, days of closed beta before the actual invites went out. No, we're actually talking about uh, fucking game right now, State of the Union, like December and January. Recent history, pre pre well, Elder Apocalypse, Apocalypse Two. Oh, this is, that's not that bad then. Yeah, it's not too. We're not. We're drifting toward the current February meta. paint refunds. Yeah, February <laughs> paint refunds. That was nice of them. I liked. February. Yeah, it was. It, it let yep. me buy a bunch of shit just to test it out and actually comfortable with buying paint. I didn't buy shit. Yeah, I yeah. didn't buy paint until they gave us permanent paint. Same. And then I bought a whole lot of it. Yeah. A whole bunch of other stuff because the patches were really good. They were so good that I had to go on the forums and compliment people. Yeah, and they were amazing. I actually, I actually did compliment them once too if you can fucking find it oh yeah i mean i'm always oh, giving credit where credit's due they black ops my ass you can't find anything from me <laughs> that's what happens that's yeah what that's happens. what happens when you cross them um <sighs> so then it upgraded to ppc stalkers we saw a little bit of them so and here's then... the thing that, here's the thing yeah. that bothers me about ppc stalkers is that it was already starting to become an issue before when ppcs first got their heat their heat buffs um I remember Garth posting on Hugbox saying that, yes. you know, we don't, want to we don't want to reduce heat for PPCs because there's a certain mech that can carry six of them, and it's called the marked one. He's basically trying to make a stalker reference and being really bad at it, but the point being, yeah. he knew it was a problem, and then they went and did it anyway. Yeah. yeah, and if only he'd known the problem wouldn't be the six PPC stalker, but the four PPC stalker. See, but here's, here's the thing only that blows my know. mind, is that they knew it was an issue. The thing about this sort of you know, balancing problem is that if you know it's an issue and you know it's going to be an even bigger issue, you can't just change that tiny little thing and go, eh, no one will notice. They will notice. Yeah, it's not even, uh, uh, well, it could be. No, this is a confirmed, yeah, this is going to be a fucking deal. And what's and... worse is this is something we've, go we've yes. been going over since closed beta. I remember seeing threads asking, this is where people are going to get pissed off at me because bolds and shit do not like this idea. I don't know why, but we need a hard point system, sizable or something, something that'll allow us to carry many more smaller weapons, and then limit our heavy alpha weapons. Because if yeah, we don't it... get we don't get that, we're just going to have. I think uh, we at... need a system. Period. Right now we. We have the tabletop system where you can put whatever the fuck you want in. Close. With a kind of... Limitation. Sort of bastardized version of what we had in MV4. And here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Really that I know either. 
I know on NGNG, Phil talked about this, uh, I think, this week, saying, you know, well, it would require a reworking of the entire Mech Lab system. Well, here's one thing to think of. All we would have to really do, or all PGI, rather, would have to really do is instead of making the PPC take up one slot of energy hard points, it takes up three. And then go and, you know, change those hard points on the mechs that carry them default to match. So now you have, say, for example, the K2, instead of having total of four energy hard points, it now has eight, which makes it really dangerous with medium lasers, but at the same time, it means it's one of the few mechs that can actually mount PPCs like it's intended to. That's a good solution, actually. That's, That's a very really good, but you understand with good. Piranha, the way that they are, uh, yeah. it would take about a month to implement such a thing, and then it would take another three months of internal testing before they let it let us oh, play with God. it. That's true, but I'd, ra- I'd rather shit. have it eventually than never, because honestly, <laughs> yeah. if, we, if it doesn't yeah, get done, true. at some point down the line, especially once if slash win clans ever get here, it's just going to all go to hell, and we all know it. Yeah. <sighs> another uh, thing I think that, that they already. could do Yeah, is... weapon balances might be a slightly higher priority, and then... Oh, I forgot the rest of me. <laughs> what they could do is they could uh, highlight squares in the crit space that could be used as a potential weapon, and then space them out, like, oh, hey, you've got three two-slot, you know, crit spaces. Those are obviously for, like, you know, medium lasers or whatever. And then you could have... And you could do that to the stalker. That way he can't put a three-crit slot or whatever, PPC or whatever the hell you want to call it, anything into it, and it would prevent... You know, the fucking heavy weapon stacking. It would also give them, oh, hey, you know, I can have a ton of fucking, yeah, I can have a ton of small lasers. Yes. Yeah. One and that's basically how Mech Warrior notice. 4 system worked. And all, and all it would really require is changing it so that way certain weapons can now take up multiple, you know, hard point slots. It's really not that hard. Um, it's a very mind change, you know, from my perspective. I don't know what the code looks like, and I'm assuming One, it looks like some kind of disaster. But still, that, that it doesn't seem like a, as really nearly as big of a anyone change. Considers is they have to remake the whole model, like the the v- physical figure, the mech itself. No, if they want to change this, I don't this. think they have to. All they really. I'm... Pretty sure they they don't want missiles coming out of the shoulders like in old Mech Warrior Three. They want True. tubes there or. But what they they're already oh, starting to make those. They can make yeah. kind of an omni slot thing. Like if you wanted to be, you could just make on the Atlas like this little box with an array of lenses and that. And you know you might only have two in there, but well. And it, exactly. Would, yeah. yeah. And again, this is it's a cosmetic. It's not nearly as high a priority as saying. Look, the six PPC, four PPC stalkers are a problem. They need to go. And the 3D or cataphract jump snipers are just fucking murdering the everybody. Guys Actually, with the arms are the cataphract. You don't see the you, the only guys running 3Ds I've seen in maybe the past week or two is <laughs> yeah. Uh, whispers when we had to, we were locked in a match on Tremelane and our mechs were locked in forever. And then the two X Men guys we uh, we run into always die instantly in their 3Ds. And then <laughs> okay. another. Yeah. Thing, <laughs> I, I had forgotten. <laughs> I, I had the forgotten. The 3D is extinct now. It's yeah, it's obsolete. all Highlanders or stalkers. This is exactly what happened in Mech Warrior 4. Obsolete. Another. I still have. No I still have bad memories again. of my very first Mech Warrior 4 online match, where my favorite mech Not in Mech well. Warrior 4 has and always will be the Shadow Cat. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get in the Shadow Cat and I'm gonna run around the canyon and I'm gonna provide recon and take some bot shots at people, and then I'll come back to my team so they all know where they are. You know, you know, we're all on team speak and all that. Hmm. I run out there. And then immediately got plastered by about five exterminators, dead instantly, set out the rest of the match. And that's exactly yep. what's happening now, and that's why I've stopped playing. The reason why Mech Warrior 4 was bad, and it's the only reason, it was only on the competitive sense. This was because back then, we were playing on two cans and a fucking string. Today, <laughs> today, you can get... It's not even different. When I see this shit, I make the face that Caveman must have made when he saw fire. Fucking yeah. <laughs> projectiles, hundreds of them, traveling across the fucking map, being tracked at all times. And when they yeah, intersect with something... Draw. Yeah, bullet draw. Yeah, fucking, oh this my is, god. Yeah, oh my god. What is this fucking holy grail? And <laughs> we don't have to worry about hit scan snipers. No. no. No, we're not in that. No, it's gone. It's a bad dream, Golds. You don't have to think about it anymore. It's not here to hurt Things you. Things are different. Yeah. They have it's changed a, in the past it's 30 a new years. Day. Glass-Steagall Act is enacted. We are right. Playing it, it, on here's something, here's something that's blown my mind for a long time. Is, is I remember back in early closed beta, people were saying, oh, well, 
you know, the the lag shield isn't a problem. Just lead your target like you used to oh in the olden days. God, and I'm like, no, okay, not those people. no, I'm uh. not going to because here's two reasons why. One, I can do it, and I am doing it. That's not a problem. The problem is, is that uh, when people start playing this game for the first time and they shoot they at shoot their target and they, they see and it hitting, nothing. they see it hitting, they're going to go, what the fuck is this? And they're going to uninstall. They're going to stop playing like, because they're realizing that half the shots are disappearing <laughs> into the ether. In yeah, and it's, it's been, been my what, 12 years you. since MechWarrior 4? Because you yeah, can't see... Like that. I was in middle school when it came out. You can't yeah, see the hitboxes on the Jenner as he's turning the corner. When you see the Jenner and he's out, he's already gone. So the yeah, notification and I'm, and I'm is... Glad, I'm glad that that's been yeah. fixed. And, you know, but at yeah. the same time, that never made Much sense to me. Much credit to that. Thank uh, uh, you. If, if we don't have... Year, but... God. If, we, if only awesomes we can use arguing. PPCs, it'll be the only assault mech you'll see on the field, since the Atlas Thanks has no for... PPC tubes. Thanks for moving us on. Here's another issue I have. Uh, mechs are basically just blobs of hard points, and many of them yep. are the same as others. Highlander... And, and to, be fair, to be fair, that's true, that's true to... To tabletop in a way. To the source um, They've changed it. They've changed yeah. it a little bit, but at the same time, that's the reason why when you go to a tabletop game, your average tabletop game, if you try to set one up and say you can play whatever you want, custom X are allowed, you're gonna get laughed off the table. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason stuff like random assignment tables exist, and it's that way yeah. people don't bring their ridiculous bullshit six PPC you know, stalker or whatever the hell. Because you want everywhere. People yeah, want but the I think awesome. that that's also, that's At least also it's kind not of a staple of Neck Warrior. People want it the, is, but it's people a bad want the staple. awesome. They want yeah, the brawl. It's pretty much what, we, what the four games were founded upon is being able to customize your mechs into your ultimate killing machine. Now yeah. I know that, like, uh, really, I think what you guys are saying, uh, the way that this would work better is if customizing a mech would be making it more like I don't know, Char Zaku or something like that, where it's the same kind of mech but better in, or finely tuned to your tastes. Pilot skills. Instead of completely different. Yeah, pilot skills. Yeah, pilot skills. Pilot skills. Or, or pilot skill, you complete the pilot kill tree. I have yeah, sure. some, something like this also. What if the PPCs on the awesome, for instance, it has the PPCs tubes, tubes, right? Right. What if it gets a bonus for using PPCs? Yeah. We could have that. Or what if what if the catapult has some kind of bonus to LRMs? <laughs> little little things like that to make to make all the mechs different, and then all uh, the useless u useless variants. Yeah. You, you, that's always still a concern. They they there will always be useless mechs and variants. Yeah, that's, and that's just, out that's of just battle our tech. our control. They would I mean, have you, to pick better ones. You, you can look at the TROs, them. and you can even see in the TROs. Yeah. Like there's there's sections in TROs like for I think the Cicada in TRO 3050, where you can read it, and it's basically like, yeah, there's these variants, but they're crap. Use the 3M now. <laughs> well, let, let's let's step back a bit here, because like uh, what you guys are talking about with useless mechs, um, I think that they do screen these mechs, and they do try to make every mech bring something new to the table, but at the same time, like. What's the only light mechs that people use? Jenner, Raven, Jenner and Raven. Commando. Jenner, I mean, Raven. a couple of people use the Commando because they're masochists, I guess. Yes. But yeah. Jenner and Raven are the you two. You run a Raven or you run a Jenner, period. People really yeah. only use the Commando because it looks silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about they it. Use it because they want to play Tar Baby being mode. shot to death. Yeah. Um, you gold. Whispers, Whispers mentioned the 4MG Spider and Kalis, the Atlas K, which I finally sold because it's fucking useless. Yeah. Yeah. God. yeah, why didn't the Atlas K get the ECM? That is still... I, I, yeah. I, can, I can answer that very easily, because, because the, the EDC CMS. is the tech version. It's the tech Atlas. It has the command Atlas. It has the command module, and it's supposed to have that all the other true. stuff. Yeah, but, but so this is that's how and... they, they reasoned back then. ECM wasn't even a thing back then, and all the tech gear, you know, what yeah. we have today. Right. And it, it so would it make sense for it to have all that stuff, long. but at the same time, I think that that means that it needs to have its hard points pulled back at least a little bit, so that way it's not it the be-all, end-all Atlas. It right, 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 but, it, but it, hang, on it has hang on here. two less lasers. Well, well, let me finish the point I was trying to make yeah. here. We well, use the Raven and the Jenner. Well, why do people use the Raven and the Jenner? They use they because the they're the fastest, and right. the Raven can have ECM, while the Jenner has the most firepower. Right. The right. It's, it's a natural levels. progression of what they want to use. Yes. Yeah, and you'll notice, and I've noticed too that you know things have progressively become to the point where when you choose your mech in a certain class, you want the heaviest one, and you want the one with either ECM or well, jump jets on. No, you straight up want the, the best mech. Is yeah, what, the what best it comes down to. Mech. 
Yeah. You want the fastest mech, the one that can hold the most, that has the most armor for its weight, the one that does the most damage. You want has the a best decent one. Engine. Yeah. Yeah. You want the best the one, and features. the game funnels your choices into these best mechs because people always find the optimal loadouts. You know, this is true. I actually, uh, I'm sorry. I used to be back in open beta. I quit very recently thereafter. I came back recently, and everything's been wiped. And I started re grinding up everything. And I very so quickly found that. there's only one good mech in almost every single class. Yes. Or from every single variant. Like, uh, basically. I would buy basically. three. Yeah, basically. And the only one I, I would argue against that, and the only, the, only, the only chassis that I would argue against that is the Hunchback. Because the Hunchback can do everything. The yeah. problem is the Hunchback's worthless right now. Because yeah. if you're not running into <laughs> yeah. your yeah. assault, you're dead. Um, I, I watched Phil get, Phil get back cord. Instantly by a PPC stalker. I mean, PPC Hunch Highlander. And he's like, What just happened to me? And everyone in the audience is like, What just happened to you? And the second he, he's, he's, he's on Frozen City, he hangs, I, he's looking to his right, and I see a PPC, sto uh, PPC Hunchback jumping, and he's about to engage another PPC stalker. <laughs> if once he, once he clears the building Peanut and goes hammer. to the left, and yeah. just a, a split second before he goes around the, 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 fro the building and go just goes to the left, I'm like, You just exposed your back. The Highlander behind you is just going to back core you. And I should have typed that in the chat. And then suddenly, instantly, bam! Have, but his Excel the... engine explodes, oh. and, and Phil is like, what just happened to me? And, everyone, and, and, you, see, and you see everyone in I don't get the, it. The, the Twitch chat, yeah, what, like, what that? just happened? I was like, it was like, ammo explosion. No, I'm like, no. The, the Highlander, who was ju just jumping when you hung that left, is now behind you. He just shot straight through your side torso, and when you see like engine destroyed, left his left his left torso is just gone. It's like your XL engine's gone. Sorry, bud. Right. But that's obviously yeah. a bug. Obviously, <laughs> yes. it needs to be that, fixed. And that's happened. Like I said, that's happened to me before. I think I was trying to finish grinding out my efficiencies, my base efficiency. I think my HDN 732. Um, when the Highlander first came out, which was pretty much the last yeah. game that I played because I, I can't stomach the current Ugh. meta right now. Uh, I really want to come back. I really do. I, I really too. like this game. We all do. But We're addicted to robots. I, I realize how bullshit it was and how bad it, how much worse it's going to get the more people have time to actually buy and grind out Highlanders. When Not I jumped up on Frozen City, how much I saw a Raven turn around, fired instantly. The Raven just exploded. And I just see everyone in chat going... <laughs> What the hell was that? And I, the, the like, poor Raven pilot's just going, well, that sucks. And I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Died. Well, see, it, it's really kind of, we're, we're in a bad situation right now, because I don't think yeah. they're going to restrict, restrict choices beyond what we already have. I really don't think they're going to do that. Yeah, it would be hard to, but they should, there are ways they could do to mend. Just oh, yeah. keep in they, mind. They could, they could like, That's refund everything. Really I mean, not refund, but, you know, they could they could wipe everybody's uh, stuff at release. You know, uh, like, wipe everybody's that, mechs. I don't, I don't know terrible. if people would like that. Uh, they ought to do oh, no, they 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 can, they can, what they ought thing to do. do would probably be to refund. So if right. at release, Value you get wipe. all of your stuff refunded, you still have all your XP and all your, all your, well, your masteries yeah. and whatnot. Give them the full... But, you're, but you get your money value. back, so you can rebuy whatever mechs and stuff. In the yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, though, is that they would wipe everybody's mechs and make them rebuy things, and then the mechs would then be more restricted than before. You'd but, have yeah, more that's... restricted uh, and they, engines, okay, yeah. I was more under, restricted uh, hard points. They wouldn't know points. the meta, so they'd have to regrind anyway. So it, it's a win-win. They get some things, and, then, and they get to try shit out, and they learn again. Another thing is that if they restrict the engines, if they restrict the hard points more than what they're already doing... And then also, finally include uh, weight balancing. Not just class balancing, but weight balancing, where like every team only gets a thousand tons or something like that. Yeah. That would balance the. That would make a lot more mechs viable. You get that would the give awesomes. people a reason to use the commando in the spider. Yeah, you get the awesomes and the stalkers, but you get the Jenner, and then they get the Atlas, but you got the but they got the commando instead. We've been talking about that for a long time. Oh yeah. Yeah, and probably just... not 1000 tons because that would just be a team of all atlases again. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe Maybe 800. 800. <laughs> We're only playing with 8 people. Well, it'll be, it'll be 12 soon. Well, but still. Be yeah. You, you don't yeah. Wanna... I was thinking about MechWarrior 4 uh, league play. Also, uh, one more thing, uh, test server, 30 to 60 days. I think we're getting closer to 30 now. If if, if they can stick to that number. I doubt it. Gonna be uh, closer to I, don't, I, 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 I just wanted to bring up. I don't understand what, what they're doing with the. It's supposed to be like test, test 12, 12 man public test, and maybe even some other things they can throw in. Another thing we can bring up uh, how PGI keeps punishing weapons and not the chassis. Yes. 
This well, is a yeah. good topic. Yeah. Missiles, I guarantee you, the moment missiles yeah. come back, so will the catapult. Yeah, yeah. it will. I have, it everything will. will come back. It's it's, um... uh, it's something inherent to its design to boat, and also the shape of the mech itself, because also the Stalker has the same thing going for it. It has the ability to boat a lot of weapons, and it has that freaking battle dildo shape yep. that yeah. you and, yeah. just can't pick apart. Really, I just really, I, I just wish that Torso Twist was tied to chassis rather than engine. Torso Twist should be very heavily restricted because of how powerful it is. They should know this by now. That's why I think he's talking about, no, 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 about the speed. I'm talking about the, the speed. speed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise everyone just wants like, to run the, the long range mechs should yeah. have very slow torso twist. Obviously, for some reason, yeah. and short we range don't mechs have should that. have very fast torso twist, regardless of the engine you're using. Yeah, that would yes. encourage real warfare, which would really work, I think. Yeah, the, the thing that concerns me is, I mean, under, I understand the catapult is designed to be a missile boat, but um, you mentioned that that hit that hit box. Here's something I noticed, is that when I see a stalker, I'm not worried about not being able to hit his side torso. If anything, I'm worried about hitting his <laughs> center torso. Yeah. Um, I know with the Raven, I think the, the, the hitbox is on the legs now, because everyone needs to complain that they were so hard to hit. The hitbox the on the legs is actually like slightly bigger than the legs are, if I'm not they're, mistaken. They're the size of small Why can't now? they do that yeah. for the catapult side torso, so you don't basically get a free pass when you run an XL engine in it? Head on. From the side, you hit nothing but side torso. <laughs> Good yeah. luck, though. You're more likely to hit the fucking head of the catapult than the side torso, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trust, that's fine. Huge, I'm, but... <laughs> I'm an ancient catapult pilot. And everybody here knows this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you die more to headshots than side torsos in that thing. Oh, it definitely. doesn't matter. Yep. But, I, I uh... think the Raven is in a good spot hitbox wise. Like, I, I think that. Kinda. The... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wish that I mean, the, uh, the back side torsos were a little bit smaller, but that's okay. The it, legs it could be a little bit smaller too, but that's okay too. Did they ever uh, actually get around to fully to fixing it. the Raven's hitbox? Never. Remember, there's like uh, a million issues with they it. Made They're never fix. Well, fix it there were so many issues with it, mostly because yeah. of the lag shield. And people and were trying legs. to compensate for yeah, it. Yeah, there was lag the shield. The legs have they lots of eventually components. They have to like rebuild all of it. The ballistic and energy state rewinds in, but wasn't there also an issue where if you hit it right on the nose, it would take no damage? Yeah, I, don't, uh, yep. I can't think... remember. That Maybe because not... I those know. bastards with AC twenty. I think I think you I think there was an issue like that. We're talking about the Raven, right? Yeah, yeah, and I believe they fixed that as well. But they that thing is the just the black hole on the Raven. Yeah, but see, the, the, Raven about the Raven is like nobody's talking about the spider or the, the glitches commando. in MWO. Whispers oh. is saying that it would divide damage between its torsos. I have no yeah. idea to confirm that. Or uh, let's see. Kayla I'm gonna says, have to repeat the question. I didn't hear it. <laughs> he it? says, <laughs> if you struck it on the nose, it would divide the damage between the side torsos. That's something. Mm, if you shoot a laser at a raven and from point blank, and it starts moving, then you're gonna spread the damage across the, both the side torsos and the front. Yes, but. It it won't magically spread the damage across it. There was a time when if you hit the Raven with something strong like an AC-20, it would sometimes disappear into thin air. For yeah, you'd see a flash and then that's nothing. That's gone. Yeah, that that is gone now. That's been gone a while. But uh, if they do bring back missiles, and let's just say for you know a Hail Mary, they actually do bring them back to tabletop value, you get one yeah. damage per missile on LRM, Yes, and then please. two damage. Yeah, yes, please. Oh, two yes, damage please. on SRM six. Well, very big. Yes, we please. still have the A one steak sauce again. Yeah. And again, I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, <laughs> we need some for... sort of hot, hard point size restrictions because for those who, are... who aren't familiar with Kong's uh, yeah, terms, A one steak sauce is basically a catapult A one loaded up with SRM sixes. The splat the splat six cat. tubes. Ninety damage. Splat Ninety cats. speed. You may have With seen me JJ's. piloting one. Really funny. Yeah. Yeah. felt like a <laughs> They've seen us all douche have bag. seen our white whales in action. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling that whole operation. Hey, you guys have seen my uh, American Gladiator catapult. Yes. Yeah. I haven't, but yeah, I want we have. to. <laughs> I think white Jude's whale. got like, uh, something like that in a hunch. The problem, Yeah, again, the Captain America. Is I have my yeah, uh, catapult. <laughs> I have the my Captain America 9 flamer. The, the problem is Hunch that bag. some mechs make much better use of certain weapons than others, and when the weapon in question is really powerful, like the SRM, 
on a platform that has no problem getting up close and can run an excellent unit no problem and all the other good stuff then maybe you should do something about the platform and not try to fix missiles. How do we feel about boating small scale weapons? Small lasers, uh, machine guns. No there's one cares. It's, really it no would reason need to, to be yeah. suck. You'll, you'll shoot them before they get into range. You'll 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 like the PPC, even medium lasers. You have what four times the range? Yeah. But what I mean is, what if they allowed you to? What if you had an atlas? You could have twelve small lasers. Well, we saw this in closed beta for a while. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know uh, this, RS but many mechs had smalls. more. No, no, no. Many the mechs, K2. like the Hunchback, had more energy slots than they do now. We're limited for a reason. You know. I, I think Phil mentioned like the K2 used to have six energy slots instead of four. It had, it, it had up to eight at one point. <laughs> yeah. And well, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, like the so... Hunchback used to have... The 4G used to have more energy hard points, but they just got rid of them and put the three ballistics on there. Yep. They, they've already gone over the too many smalls. Now they have to they look have to at look. too many bigs. Let's yeah, talk I think about the last that. viable small mech was uh, the Swayback, 9 small laser hunchy. Yep. That thing was yeah, kind of yeah. a demon back in like, Lake Shield and all that, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's too uh, much of a problem. I miss my old Founders Hunch, the old 4G no F. <clears throat> oh, sorry, man. The 4G. True G. The no GF, rather. <laughs> True OG. Olden days. What about pulse lasers? I used to use pulse lasers pretty effectively on my Raven 3L back before ECM came in, but I think they did something with the heat that basically made them really unviable compared oh, yeah. to the other ones. Oh, yeah. That was um, ago. Set that was ages ago. The to be the normal actual pulse, real value. And so pulse lasers sets. were more effective before <laughs> the energy state rewind came in because it was easier to hit things with them, that but too. most people did not really have an issue with that anyway, so... Yeah. Right now, they are pretty much completely useless because you're getting half range and more heat for plus one damage. Except no, point zero one damage. Pulse, large pulse really? Laser. It's point zero one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Large they, need to, they need to cycle a lot good. faster if they want yeah. it to actually work. It's supposed to be yeah. a rapid fire, constant like it, stream of damage. It, should make, it shouldn't do more heat so much as it cycles a lot faster and builds the heat up faster. Oh, yeah. With pulse lasers, yeah. it's like a laser machine gun. And you're like, da 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 and you, your heat starts to drive up, and you're like, da 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 What about the Mech Warrior Kind of like in the game that shall not be named. Yeah, the Mech Warrior yeah. 3, you hold it down <laughs> until you're too hot, or you cycle the weapon completely and you empty it. Yeah. Right, because on, cause to you build, it would usually be, okay, you do non-heat heavy weapons, and then you just slam the pulse lasers on there. And you would, you know, crack you open have a, a component, lasers, and then you just much. start chain firing those laser machine guns. But we don't got that. We've got this... Because lasers are really <laughs> doing what pulse lasers should be doing. You're yeah. doing more slicing with lasers than you are with pulse. Like if For you... some reason. Yeah, you would use pulse lasers against small guys, but we're not doing that. I guess if they reduced the range even further to like half of what they are now and up the damage something fierce, then I would see fit to use pulse lasers. But the way they are... I actually thought no. that maybe they should take it to where it was in Mech Warrior 3, where yeah. you hold it down, that would be my and it would build too. that heat, you know, and it would also make the lasers fine, because nobody wants hit scan lasers that instantly do damage. They don't want burst damage lasers. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. So that's we'll... bad. Yeah, that, that would actually be a bad thing that we've avoided. I don't know how the hell we've done that. <laughs> yeah, lasers work very Sometimes well. Sometimes you get lucky! Yeah. God. I actually thought they were going to do it with their... Because, uh, have any of you read the Kotaku article where they basically describe how they do R&D with these patches? I know. I, but the I don't fucking... ever go to Kotaku. The only place I could ever find it. <laughs> And I'll right, never go to us. Kotaku again. I had an you, argument can you link us, Connor? once. Can you, can you link us, Connor, so you put in the show notes? It's so fucking hard to find. Um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll put it later in the show notes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, put link, it, I'll put it, put it in the right. show notes. But it I'm basically the conversation. describes uh, in what rotation they do these updates. Because if you follow our history of patches and everything, they are doing it. Like, they okay, oh. lasers, missile, ballistic, ballistic, laser, missile. Yeah. Just like you said... 
They they yeah. got the host state. Re- I remember back in early mm-hmm. December, late November, where Garth this is important. said they were going Boys to reduce that they go in phases. That they go just like you said, laser ballistic missile. And right now, since they've got the host state rewind for lasers and, and the we, host state rewind for ballistic? ballistics, and just got missiles ballistics, are next. missiles are next. I don't think they want to touch missiles because they've been this way for so long. And they want to get host state rewind on those, and they're also trying to experiment. Like we are, this is like the horrible period of beta where we have to suffer because we have <laughs> like two months of really crappy <laughs> missiles and host state rewind and PPCs slashing you in half, and there's nothing you can do about it. Where we have to endure this until they say, okay, this gun is too strong. We're gonna with host state rewind, we're actually getting more DPS per second. I think they even mentioned it on one of the. It was. It might have been. It might have been asked the developers, are you looking at DPS? Yeah, I recall that yeah. too somewhere. Go on. One of the non, no and no plans in answers there. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like you said, like you said in your Kotaku thing, I remember seeing, uh, I remember seeing, it's I, the I only remember place seeing this I've article. It's the only place I've seen them it. It's the article where they say they go in phases, and right now we're probably going to go with all of the weapons phase, or some of the weapons. It might, probably even the PPC, since everyone just talks about it. It just it, The PPC okay. might be the first, go ahead. One sec, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say stop here and say one thing here, and I'm gonna say this again. I've said it on the forums many times, and I feel like Garth needs to sit up and actually listen when I say this and pass this <laughs> along to his goddamn superiors for once. You Find the blood need pressure. to post your stuff on your official site. People do not go scouring <laughs> all over the internet looking for news updates. You can't put except stuff on Kotaku and on yeah. Yeah, Penny Arcade and on Brian's Twitter and in wherever Kotaku. the hell they may they may land. <laughs> And then they expect people who are interested in your game to go seek them out. They come to your site because they expect to see it all there or on the front page. Or they come to Fortran. Which is which scary. Which seems to be a much better yeah. place to get all your stuff. Well, it's because we harvested it. Scary. We harvested it. Yeah, well, uh, we harvested every, we, We're the aggregates, so the people who don't know where to find this information... More like we are the harvesting machines out of yeah, fucking Yeah, the doom. harvester ants. Harvester we are ants. <laughs> we are the emperor's <laughs> harvester ants. We're the harvester ants on Haruko's world. Yeah. And and but the invisible the invisible Twitter audience that that they they've mentioned at PAX before where they want to be sort of the second coming of BattleTech and we want people to uh, know the game exists and the yeah. third person and yeah and 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 also the uh, disconnect the disconnect between them and their publishers really shows sometimes when I get these marketing emails that talk about things that aren't in the game or show mistakes and then the <laughs> thing just completely flips around. Thanks for the notes, Or Connor. the pro tips. Yeah. It's, it's not exactly easy to find. Press and Kotaku doesn't help you. Jump jets. Yeah, so I never heard about this until until just now. Yeah. Why did I Hands. never hear about this? Press Y because no one tells team you. Team chat. It's very important you communicate with your teammates. Man. Oh. Download C3. Communication Remember when they were pushing C3? Victory. Val, yes, they still, they still are pushing C3. Vass <laughs> is still getting t- pro tips in the loading screens telling people to download it. Val, you're right. I remember when they had the Kotaku, like, ask me anything, and they talked about oh, the weapon oh, cycles. Yeah. This, whoa, I've forgotten about this one. Yeah, yeah, this is back, the way back November, machine of Connor November Sinclair. 7th, 2012. This is old. This is really when I started getting active, and I was like, all right, yeah. game on. Kylo says in the comment that C3 was a simple fix to keep people from bitching. Hmm. So let's recommend I've a voice chat system might be some truth to that. that sucks in comparison to TS3 and VET. That's brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, well, uh, I, hey... You, d- you just know somebody's yeah. palms are getting greased on the C3 Val. recommendations. <laughs> Could I potentially put forward a reason as to why they may have used C3? Go ahead, Norris. Go ahead. Connor, mic check. You're echoing when he talks. Jack, check. Um, C3 obviously was free to use. However, what it appears to have, and this is something they don't actually advertise, but I know I'm not the only one who ran into it back when we were originally using C3 as our server to talk on. And that is, if you go into a game, it will try and take you out of what chat you're in and place you into a new temporary chat. Now, that is true. Is going, what I think is going on here is that, in actuality, C3 is synced up to MechWarrior in some regard, and it can tell when someone is dropping. So it'll move the people who are dropping into this game into a temporary server. But because there is no impact on the population of people who play this game to actively use C3, 
you never actually get put into a group with anybody oh. else because you have to opt into it. Yes. You have, to, you have to not only download the client, but make an account for the client, then make a channel to talk into with other people that you want to play with, and then you get put into a temp channel that you have to agree to be moved into. There's no, all these you, extra steps that don't you that don't kind you of also, just make it hard to get into. Don't you also have to be in the same group as someone in the MechWare Online game? It's not just at you're in the lamps. Point, you're in the I don't C3. Know, I don't know if it's, it works like that anymore. But at I, one I think point, yeah, you need to be in a group. If you were in a four man, your four men had to be in C3 and then all in one group, and then all of you would drop, and then C3 would allow you to speak. The so. chat has no experience with C3, so. I don't, I don't think, I don't think anybody does that. because we've all been using TS3 yeah. Invent for the past decade. Like yeah. Morris said, uh, yeah, me and him and some other using it. We were trying it because you know, knew it's available. We should use it. And yeah, we're not using it anymore. It didn't turn out so well. I do believe that T3 works in some fashion. It just is yeah. not integrated. So yeah. nobody uses it. Yes, that's the biggest problem. It's not integrated. It should be right there. You push a button on your keyboard and it starts talking. Also, right in one, the game. One, one more thing. Like the social tab, I didn't know you could actually send chats between people on your friends list. Oh, God. Until, like, <laughs> I've been over that for so long. I thought we forgot about that. People that. Yeah. I, no, I, uh, I, I, so I think cool. there's, no, the there's UI, no sound really. identification. There's no real window that comes up or anything. The blinking yeah, you, you can't work. even tell if someone is trying to talk to you through that. Yeah, yeah. L like Ice Griffin. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll get a message from Ice Griffin. I was like, "Oh, what are you doing? You want to play with me?" I'm like, "Oh, oh someone's messaging me in." Wow, so this is what I, what yeah. he's doing. He, someone's trying to talk to me. I oh, thought did I, I, did I fall names. out of the group? No, I didn't. Some one, asshole sending one me a message. One final thing about most of us. If we want to play, we make a post. We need people to play. Get on vent, or yes. you're on your TS, you're on your TS server, yep. or you're in the wait, waiting to drop, looking for a group channel. And there, like, there isn't a lobby where <coughs> there's like twenty thousand people. No, there is a the lobby. Yeah, I, and I, the a thing about the lobby what? is you could get like a player count too. That's another, yeah. that's another side effect of the lobby. You could get a player count by counting how many people are logged in into the lobby, or you can I, because uh, with Company of Heroes, you just got thrown into a lobby and. You could chat, and then you could all go play you a could game. Pre game once you could prepare. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you well, could make sure. that in freaking yeah. Aliens vs. Predator. The you could do that line. in Quake 2. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fucking well, it, it probably God. You can, you can do you that can do in it freaking Diablo Warhammer 2. Space Marine. It probably wasn't in Bass Pro Shops The Strike, so I'm assuming PGI is still figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. It has to have been in Nakatomi oh, Plaza because oh, you it's wound. made on one of those wound. engines. And it would quell a lot of the gold, gold forumers, <laughs> because let's be honest here, golds, you play the game because it's it's social for you. It's a social yes. outlet. Yes, and, and it is. I mean, we all met each other. That's why we all Everybody except Connor and I met each other through MWO, <laughs> and it's worked yeah. really well. Yeah. Video games for yeah. So you may have lost <laughs> general discussion, but I would push oh. for a chat lobby. I would push for it because that's exactly yeah. what they need. How about, how, beats, how about this? Tag. Yeah, how time. about this then? They they get to keep the general discussion forum dead, but we get lobbies. Yeah, you get chat that, that lobbies. That would be a and, great and grouping idea. Lobbies. That's a deal I would take. You could see what a player had mastered in, you know, so you know what kind of player you're talking to. <laughs> they need if to do he's that. An Atlas or a light. And then they also whatever. need to get rid of all the ridiculous number of subforms that they have. The the solution to we got rid of your general discussion. How do you want to fix this? Is not. Let's keep general discussion discussion dead and then push out more sub forums for you. That's completely oh. wrong. That splinters things. It makes it difficult to find people. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I stopped going to the forums entirely I don't go because the, I can't uh, figure out where the hell anything is. Oh, I'll go there to bitch every once in a while, but I can't really figure out where anything is anymore. So I go to two places. There. Two the, places. The official announcements. Forum. Announcements and the command chair. Those are the only two wow. useful things left on the on the on the, the two MWO least forums. Updated places. I know, I know. <laughs> The official MWO forums really only exist for the sole purpose of driving away new players. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, oh, I mean, God. that's uh, the first place that people go to when they, fig when they you know, have problems with the game. 
Yeah. Honor no. story time. Honor yeah. story time. It's, it's, like it's, like every, Connor. Connor. it's like a new player finds MWO, they go to the forums, and it's like, well, I can't find everything, and everyone's a huge asshole. I guess I won't play this game. Do you remember <laughs> way back when, when the game first started fleshing out and we had the forum, and they said, go ahead and register your name, and it was yes. put up on V, and everyone was like, oh, better get your name now, because, you know, all the names from uh, Mech Commander are gone, and they're just, you know, I immediately went on there and made Connor Sinclair, because I love Mech Warrior 3. Oh, okay. want to fight about it? So... <laughs> you know, we did have that. Too many guns for me we to fight we you. did that, and we're rational human beings. And we left, and we waited, you know, for the game to come out. Yeah. Well, while that was going on, the Golds stuck around and formed a community. And I had to. They actually go... did. Yeah, I did. And the reason I know about this is because one day I got fed up with it, and I want to know what the hell is greater than, less than, s? The fuck is that? So I went into the forums and use the search function that you can no longer use no searching <laughs> yeah, of any broken. kind and i found it and it was started by the derps hand brigade oh my and God. uh they said hey let's form our own secret club our own secret handshake and it's the s and i go farther and farther back in these posts and it's just these people, and they're stuck on the forum. Like, that's all they know. That's their yeah. only way out into the world. They didn't know, know English some... until the forum. I mean, you know, some people are dedicated like that. Oh, yeah. So when you destroy <laughs> general discussion, you are literally destroying the game for these people. Because they yeah. don't play. Yeah. This is they don't way have of... anywhere else to go. Yeah, they're, they're, they're extremely old people. And that also has to deal with where this game sprang up. It's a tabletop game. It's a it's a game you play with a few beers and some funny people. For you like don't a play BattleTech with a few beers, Connor. You play BattleTech with a fucking accountant. Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. A fucking Starfleet accountant battles. and sometimes it's, it's, beer. It sounds like uh, it sounds. I remember when I went on. to my local game store and I, I was like, oh, I play Starfleet they Command on my computer. Books. And I play Starfleet Command on my computer. And oh, lo local game store guy, could I, could I like look into Starfleet battles? He's like, no. It's accounting. You do not want to deal with your power <coughs> consumption. Oh, yeah. That guy your ship's you power favor. generation and then your Andromedan ships that siphon power from the enemy ship to increase your power, decrease their power. It's is CPA Starfleet accounting. Oh god. Yes. But they did <laughs> the UE so good. But that's no, an example that, that, of no, going from table to it, yeah, it's go like going from table like like going from a turn based it's a lot like Battletech, in fact. There's yeah. a turn-based system where you have shield points, and you have hull points, and you have weapon points, and you have an energy bar that you have to fill up, and if you use too much energy, you, your ship can't charge photons because there's no warp power, or you've been hit, and you're siphoning what's left of your battery to get one last phaser shot off. Getting our nerd on, people. Yeah. Which, which and, is fun. It just takes a while to actually figure out. Yeah. 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 But what they and, did and with that game... And if you're going blind, like, God help what you. They the, what they did with the game is they literally turned... A tabletop turn-based game into a real time, and it worked. I'm surprised the how interface, well it works. Yeah, the it's, menu, it's probably why it's Mega Mech is so much you. fun. Is because you don't actually have to sit there and you know take record sheets and you know crunch numbers and all that. You just plug it into Mega Mech and go. I'm shooting that guy there with the medium laser. I'm shooting that guy over there with the large and laser walk and a over PPC. Here. Enter. Yeah, and it runs it all for you. Maybe I punch great. him. Yeah, actually, for for like Starfleet commands, like A, S, Z, a couple of buttons for like alpha strikes, and then you just slide your speed up, slide your speed down. You would flip between certain tabs to do like a high energy turn or a U turn or right. turn on, uh, drop your shuttles. I mean, you knew that you would, you knew that it would, it you the game used the entire keyboard. Yeah. You knew it, it. You could hot and... key it, or you could tab between the tabs for each individual component of your ship, and it was like, <laughs> like yeah, as detailed and... as a mech. And, but the, the, that's, that's the thing what I'm trying I, to I think point it's out. Just... It's the complexity of keeping track of everything. That's why I think that if someone were to come out with an iPad like <sighs> app that keeps track of all, all the right. BattleTech stuff, changing oh, topic, man. great, because <laughs> we're going way too far. Man, okay, I honestly think go. that that's what the uh, touch screen <laughs> on that Razer Artemis controller is going is supposed to do. Yeah. If it ever Good comes luck, out. Oh, that controller. That. Are we ever going to see that? No. It's, a, it's a concept. Concept. It'll have. I think, it'll have, I think that they've jumped it'll ship. Have a, it'll have change a... topic. <laughs> It'll, All one right. last thing. The Artemis controller no, will have a little audio that. jack on the side so you can swipe the credit card with the little square reader. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it's for okay. revealing consumables, people! Hey, Val, how about we talk about that uh, customer relations issue we got with Garth? How Garth goes around 
rolling us. Which one? How about the one <laughs> during my own operation, Operation Steak Sauce, and I got oh. told that uh, you just shoot the ears off. Or oh. we can talk about five-second oh. Jenners. That's a whole other podcast. Three-second Jenners. <laughs> yeah. Three-second Three second Jenners. Jenners, yeah. When he came back during the latest terrible coolant gate scandal, and he didn't know what the fuck either. was going on, he was spouting numbers that were I will. I will anywhere. say this. I will say oh this in God. Garth's defense. He will make a very great politician one of these days. <laughs> Take oh, yeah. He will. There is no customer issue Probably with a Democrat. He takes care of all the customers, so there are no customers, well, and there's no issue. There are no and American takes it back, Dad. If, if we're just going to talk about Garth for however much longer we're going to be doing this, um, I should bring up really fast here. Yeah, no one ever... going soon. Have you, have you guys ever looked at um, Garth's LinkedIn profile? No. No. Uh, nope. I have not. That's, that's, that's a good idea, though. One? You should have one, yeah. You should what do that. What does it say? I'm um, sure he and the rest of PGI do. Most people link it to us, I can put it in the notes. Okay, yeah, can, if you give me a moment, because I want to actually point something out here that would probably explain right. a lot as to why Valk doesn't understand why Garth seems to be so incompetent. <laughs> because he's an arts major or something? Doing PR, I don't know. Women's studies. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. This this could come. Wait, as quite when a was shock. this made? Let me look at this. The Go Art to... Institute of Vancouver. Go take a look at his. Uh, his, his, his <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at his LinkedIn right now, and I will say this, Russ. If you're listening to this, you probably should use your LinkedIn profile image for your Twitter image because it makes you actually look semi-professional, whereas your Twitter image makes you look like you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a friendly recommendation. <laughs> yeah. I think they should all just have the PGI logo and like with a suit and a tie. Just like a PGI logo head. At least Garth has a Garth mobile on his. What in the hell is Slant Six Games? Slant Six did uh they did some of the SOCOM games. Yeah. Um, after Zipper they were bad ones. so good. Yeah, the bad ones were. <laughs> they weren't very good. Let's it, let's leave it at that. I have a Wait. copy of SOCOM Confrontation on my shelf. I never used it once. It's a paper. It's a paperweight. It always has been, but now it especially is. When they <laughs> put the servers down. Wait, so he's, so he's only got four years of experience. Even well, I mean, worse. That's, that, that's not bad in itself. Let's let's be honest. Yeah, it's there. not. But, not like that. No, wait, wait, wait. We, we can't be so hard on him if he doesn't understand the problem with game balance. I mean, he has worked on it, Need for Speed here, and he translated. So I mean, it's like five. There's five, obviously five, crossover there. Five and a half years total. Well, no, he, yeah. he he went to school Five for and a half, game design, years. it says here. <laughs> I don't want to criticize year. that. I, for a I really year. Don't. Well, go on, Norris. Tell us what you're thinking. Though, Tell us the secret. Look, if you just take a look at what he has progressed from, okay? Just start. Localization tester, so that's the entry-level job. Dev support and design, hire. Dev support, then community manager. If you take a look at those three jobs and look at what he did in those three jobs, they don't overlap with community manager. No, they they don't. No. Yeah, and, and, and to be fair, you do have to start somewhere, but at the same time, you would think that you would start off as a community moderator or something like I did, rather than just get thrown yeah, right into the fire as a community manager. It, it yeah. almost suggests to me that at some point down the line, um, somebody at Piranha went, Oh, Jesus, we're going to have a forum, and people are going to be looking at what we do now very seriously, right. and we have nobody who is going to handle it. Volunteers, anybody, raise your hand. And no Garth one volunteer. First. You're, you're been here the least. Well, yeah, because he used to be you get this a job. developer at Piranha okay. Games, and now he's community manager. Yeah. We need, we need to, talk, uh, we need to right, ask I, a question I, about this on No Guts, No Galaxy, if you can sort of help us explain, if possible. What's yes. with... Is, did he do the localization for the Need for Speed that Piranha did? No, uh, no. He did it for he did carbon? it for EA for carbon. Just for EA. Yeah, it that's wasn't yes, like an, an out EA of shovel, shovel okay. title. I was about to say, has he been with Piranha before? Uh, looks like he's been with them since May 2010. Oh my God, no. But you yeah. Understand, you so understand presumably he was working on the original MechWarrior reboot trailer project, whatever the hell that was. God. Maybe yeah, he explodes at everyone because he didn't want the job. Maybe. 
Well, Maybe. It's, it's like you said, dev support for Prana Games, they they put the trailer out, what, November 09-ish? And then yeah. you can see how he starts here, May 2010. He's sort of in limbo, dev support, and then November 2011, bam, he's suddenly community manager. Uh, we gotta roll this they, shit out. We need a community manager right now. They we need only a had 35 Who's people ready for at the it? time. So someone yeah. had to take the job, right? Oh, God. Now, uh, let's not speculate on how he got to take the job, but... So I think Norris is uh, almost. Oh, we have four more minutes until Norris is gone. But we're at an hour. Oh, surprisingly, guys. Just so you know. Yeah. I told no, you. No, take this your would, take your time. This take would drum time. itself up easily. Um, let's see. What's next on our list here? Well, let's talk about the Holy Trinity in the old days. How Kong had sprung up. Well, Nor there's really not a whole lot to was it. it. I mean, it was Beaky Norris and Beaky and Norris's idea. <laughs> yeah. Well. No, no. It, it actually was not. It was uh, El Sofa Fuerte's idea. He's no longer with us. God bless his soul. Yeah, um, El Sofa Fuerte started the Steam group, and he did. Uh, he he was in the generals prominently for a while, and uh, eventually, I think it was back during closed beta, he got fed up with the game. I want to say it was back in September during the. Oh, during the Great Depression, you know, can when we... there was repair and rearm and nobody had right. enough dosh to cover their repair <laughs> and rearm costs. Can you pause yeah. that for just a sec? Before sure. we get too far, when I, I first showed up, I, there was like two names out. One was Kong, and the other one was my idea. But before he had chosen Kong, the other choice was Comstar Dish Network. <laughs> oh, so there, we, no, there's a, there's a couple names back then. I, I did, I did concept I stuff. I did like a yeah, concept stuff for a, a VG logo. group or a V group. I don't remember which one it was back then. But mine was rolling for, uh, really hard. We could have been. Rays. We could have been. Have, Star but Dish but Network. Star know. Dish Network, yeah. Yeah, but okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Steel Rays was another name that was being thrown around, but uh, Kong Interstellar won out. Right. And when we did Kong Inter Interstellar. Uh, Kong and Interstellar came, Security came forward saying, hey, you know, yes. I was the guy that came out and said, hey, you know, they're probably not going to allow us to use uh, canon names down the line. Because they had already said, you know, we're not going to let anybody be the Wolf Stragoons or Clan be Wolf careful. or whatever tread, like that. Tread lightly. And so, yeah. what? Tread lightly tread with your names because we control yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was saying, hey, let's make a spinoff group that's still Kong, but, you know, like a, a spinoff corporation, you know, stuff like Kong, that. Kong, but not Kong. And so I came up with Kong Interstellar Security Solutions because it has an easy-to-remember acronym, KISS, and it's... <laughs> the easiest! Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then I made up a little logo for us, and that's the logo that we use today. Which is just a modified version of the official Kong logo. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very different. Yeah, it's kind of it an evolution an of it. It's an Atlas, not a gorilla. Very Do unit leaders in Kong Interstellar <laughs> Security Solutions have to go on holy pilgrimage back to Kistown, USA? <laughs> Probably that... not. We need to... Yeah. Uh, the the requirement is we have to that. have kissed a girl. Which, and so most of V is, you know... <laughs> it's just straight out. Forever no. alone. So I mean I get to be a unit leader? Maybe. <laughs> Shit, if he's a unit leader, I'm a fucking commander. Ooh. Yeah, in your dreams. Lesbian Haruko. Waifus don't count, Connor. Ha! You wish. <laughs> I got something to do after this, I don't know about you. <laughs> I do too, it's called sleep. I'm sorry, Vass. <laughs> I oh, hope you're enjoying this. I am. So, fun. this is probably it's it's probably worth it for him to stay up, but I let's, don't think he has too many issues with it. Let's talk about oh. when small lasers were great and swaybacks. Oh really? You wanna go back that far? Oh yeah, Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was alone at the time dealing with gossip holts and getting pissed off at AC20 cats. <laughs> Did they have AC20 well, cats back then? Yes, because yeah. I wanted... Yeah, they overheated really that in two shots, but they killed yeah. you. I wanted uh, two AC20s in my Atlas, and I couldn't do it, and these catapults were doing, and I was pissed. <laughs> yeah. I can <laughs> kind of imagine little baby Connor, circa half a year ago. He was still wearing his diapers, he was getting mad that he couldn't have twin AC20s. I wanted to build Giga, it was all you don't jealous. understand. 
I wanted Giga Nigga. I want this. <laughs> I want this. My and just like that, we will never be allowed Could you to explain post this podcast Giga Nigga for forums. those watching. <laughs> oh God! It's gonna be bad language. Explain your mech. Otherwise, a long time ago, have to blip it. A long time ago, I had. That'll take Laura's racist as shit though. <laughs> the dra fucking Drax. Uh, Round should... Drax never relax. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got, I had an Atlas uh, twin UAC 20s and then a medium pulse laser and lots of ammo. Or you can do four LBX 10s and just fucking throw limbs everywhere. We he annihilator was now. Yeah, he was yeah. like a, a berserking Atlas, just a pissed off old man with a belt. It's little, what you turn yeah. into. And, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't do it, you know, in this game. So in closed beta, I was like, all right, we're just going to have to fucking go into a different direction with this shit. And so <laughs> I started building up and trying different shit. And for a while, I did have small lasers. I had a uh, D, and he had four small lasers or whatever. We all had that. Yeah, the DF. And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then... You would give them the D. Yeah, I would give yeah. them the D. Now I give them the D again because And then missiles... eventually I scoured the internet for what the damage tables were, and I got a hold of those. Oh, yes. Dark and... days before you went to Kong. <laughs> and uh, I eventually went, oh god, look at what SRMs can do. And from there, I built... What is now Giga Nigga. Of course, he's obsolete currently with a missile nerf, but it's three SRM 6s, an AC 20, and two large lasers, and the heat sinks that allow you to just barely get by and maintain and continue to alpha. I want to know if you and I were making that at the exact same time, because I think we might have. Well, I don't think you were even. Were you even dropping with us back then when we were doing that? Because Norris was still. I don't think he about. was. I think he came in yeah. like a month or so after open beta started, and that's when yeah, he joined. Yeah, it was like October. It was and then I got in... active in November, because I had to to earn money. We pretty Fucking much all came depression. up with the Warboss build at the same time. Street we all pooled depression. our powers and made this ultimate brawling machine. And the trick with this, uh, with Giga Nigga is the fact that you have to not go too far on ammo. For whatever reason, everyone has the same problem, and they think they need more ammo than they do. And it's like... Well, people three... just don't want to run out. Yeah, yeah. but you never you ever have get to, that you far. You save your shots. Yeah, it's like three, AC tw three tons of AC-20, and then three to four tons of SRM, and that's it. That's all you need. People were going really? like... Yeah, people were going, oh, I need more. And when you don't do that... You can you take get more an extra, guns. Yeah, you could. Well, not just that. You can take more heat sinks, and that's what allows Giga to keep firing. Engine. Or yeah, better, better, more better armor. energy weapons too. Or better the armor. Thing, yes. The thing, as far as as far as the ammo discussion goes, the thing that I think is going in here is that, um, you know what? It, is, I mean, I'm obviously I'm a gun person. I've got my empty shotgun sitting here next to me for sound effect use, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, the thing that I hear a lot when I when I I talk to people about you know, you know what do you, what kind of gun do you carry? It's Texas, you know. People have CHLs here and whatnot. Um, Texas. People ask, they say, well, what kind of gun do you uh, carry? Texas. They say, oh, I carry a, a, a you know a Glock 19 or something like that, and it's got so many rounds in the magazine. Then I carry a spare magazine on top of that because you never know you know how many people you're going to be dealing with. And that's one thing you can kind of think of. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you know, God. there's been situations where you know you've had to engage multiple targets Val, in a self defense Val, situation. Val, anyway, Val, moving Val. along. Um, point Val. being. In Mech Warrior, some people seem to be taking the same sort of concept along and going, "Well, I don't know when yeah. it's all going to be on me, and I'm going to need those extra seven shots of AC-20." But at the same time, you do know you're, how many people are going to be you're facing gonna you off against. So you know the maximum, shots, you know, but amount people of carry weight you're fighting. I carry 21. Which, three tons. You know I, uh... I use Connor's build, and it's three tons of SRM ammo, three tons of AC-20 ammo, and there's only yeah. once where I've been, "Fuck, I'm down to my medium lasers. That's all I got left, kids." Yeah, I'll I'll give you know, guys, uh, it's it's a much it's a much easier sort of thing to kind of conceptualize, you know, and figure out exactly how much ammo you're going to need because there's certain parameters that you're always going to be engaging with uh, when you play Mech Warrior, and that's it's just something that I've noticed. So, like, I mean, I will try and pack as much ammo as I can for my AC20s because I freaking love AC20s, but still, you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, there's another thing is that up a good when point, people is, uh, uh, do random drops, when people don't play with teams. They think that they need to have enough ammo to take on the entire enemy team because they think that they're going to be paired up with people who 
you know, aren't as good as them. Right, and that and that's what I mean by you know some people seem to use that as their their reasoning for that's why I need six yeah. tons of AC twenty ammo when really the chances of you really needing all six tons of that AC twenty ammo are pretty slim to none. Because um, I mean, at the very least, yeah. someone, everyone else is gonna be kind of beat up, <laughs> and if not, you're gonna lose anyway. Okay, here here are two things. Uh, Kong Kronk brought up that twelve for tw when twelve versus twelve shows up, we'll have to bring more ammo. Other unless yes. they increase the ammo count. <laughs> oh, and you then, bastard! I was trying to get uh, that. In. <laughs> See, if they don't so raise mentions... ammo ammo count total, it's gonna be hell on earth. It's gonna the, the... be so bad. Sinister Dinister mentions these guys with a thousand uh, LRM rounds. I remember someone on uh, Phil when they were talking about missile nerfs. Someone had three thousand rounds of, of LRMs. Oh my I... god! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! You see, like that that Master Atlas with the twin LRM five. I don't 18 know. Eighteen tons of ammo. It has to be him. Holy shit. Although, <laughs> he does make a good point is, on anything less than an assault mech, you just don't have the tonnage to bring ballistic weapons, a uh, pure ballistic build, and the ammo, and the heat sinks to run it. You can't do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not possible. You can kind of get right away with it on some game. mechs, like, the, like some of the cataphracts and the Jaeger mech, you can get away with it, but at that point, you kind of sacrifice having anything else. I've gotten yep. screwed at least one time in my Jaeger mech where I brought a ton of AC-20 ammo, got like five kills with it, and then I'm down to like the last guy and I had to plink him apart with medium lasers because it's all I had. Uh, Kalis mentions that the this, this is why the Blackjack will have troubles because oh, absolutely. you said, yeah, not enough, not yeah, enough bullets. It's a 45 ton. Too damn heavy. Out of ammo. tons of guns. Yeah, where does it's, the it's armor hard enough to bring enough ammo for the Centurion? The go. Typically, the armor is the first thing to go, so you don't even pack that much to start with. I can only imagine how much tons the blackjack. They really kind of screwed it up with uh, ammo concerns because they doubled the amount of armor on every mech and then tripled the rate of fire on every weapon. Yeah, and fifty percent increase. You know, rather, but says they didn't three... change heat and they didn't change ammo at all. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's a big problem. And of course the, I mean... Maybe we should uh, bring up one of our pet concerns while we're at it. Mech sizes. Rather, uh, yes. medium scale in this game is absolutely use terrible. The, use, the, use, the, use the size gun that you used on the Centurion for the April Fool's joke and shrink it by like 15% and I will be a yeah. happy camper running around in my <laughs> CN9AL. Nah, uh, because mechs in Mech Warrior, well, everything has one size here. They're either really tiny like the Jenner, or they are gigantic like the Atlas. It doesn't matter if they are 50 toner or if they are. Let's just put the, uh, the little and, lineup, the little fan-made lineup of how tall yeah. the mech should be. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get put that, that in the show notes. notes. Show notes. But the thing is, though, is and here's the thing that I'm sure someone's going to say is they're going to say, well, if you go into you know, this source document, it says that the Centurion is so tall, and so is yeah, the Atlas, and so it's so fine, so. which is wrong, because, again, we run into the same <laughs> issue that we have with the Catapult, where you can't hit the side torso because of the way it's shaped. We're no longer thinking of this in a hex-based, you know, tabletop game anymore. We have to kind of consider, huh? this is how big that thing is, and if it's this big, it just means it's going to be gigantic and needs to blow Something up. Something you can use to sledgehammer any argument about tabletop like that is, well, in the tabletop, you can headshot people from behind. Yeah, that's they true. Have, so, what, what are we trying to prove here? Some things don't work in tabletop. It's important to bring Good across enough. some things from tabletop, because things like... I like the way we have the crit system right now. I really yeah, do. It, it's, um, okay. it's important to bring some things from tabletop into MechWarrior Online to make it work, because that's what it's based off of. But at the same time, you have to realize that there are certain things in tabletop that are designed around a turn-based strategy game that happens in 10-second increments, and they have got to go. Because when you put it into a shooter where everything's happening in real time, and you have people who are the equivalent of, you know... 1-1 one, one or zero, 0 pilots, it's just not going to work anymore. Uh oh. The problem is it seems like PGI is missing the point in some cases, and they're taking things from tabletop that they shouldn't, and yeah. completely neglecting the things that they should. But they might be under a license. We still haven't uh, gotten that confirmed or yeah. denied. Yeah, they only have the license for the game. We can't have t-shirts, art books, coffee mugs that say MechWord online because they can't sell them. There's a license cluster for Sadly, them. I would I would buy a t-shirt that has an Atlas on yeah, no Atlas plush. No, no, no Irby plush. <laughs> no oh, Atlas plushies. Plush yeah, I made a thread about that. No, just to address, if, if, no Giga Niga waifu pillows. Man, for Connor. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 
Yeah, if, if it reminds me. Sizes, uh, had That'd no... be a giga nigga bed. You, you know what would be the, the single best way to advertise the game if they really wanted to advertise the game? I was saying this back in closed beta. The I single best too. way to advertise for the game would be to sell t shirts. Yeah, t shirts, or even better, little scale. People will build pay kits. you. To Model put a kids. logo for your game on their chest. Uh. <laughs> Don't sell sizes larger than triple XL. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> okay, one more thing. Cocaine oh. Samurai asked, I don't see how they would need to scale, how hard it would be to scale down. Couldn't you just reduce the values by a percentage and rescale? That's not how they build the mechs in this game. It oh. is like handcrafted... You know, and chis craft a painstaking detail, hours upon hours upon hours of man work. But I'm sure it's still doable because, again, Probably. we're looking at CryEngine 3 where you can change the yes. time of day with a few quick strokes, but it seems to take them a month or so to actually Dynamic Skybox. Game. Yeah, yeah, no one really has no, any idea I think, I think that PGI no really is know. under some sort of uh, obligation or some sort of, like... IGP mandated rule where they have to test things for a certain amount of time before implementing them. Or it's because the in-house uh, testers it doesn't really seem, seem to make take a lot forever of sense. for every yeah, little they take, thing. They take forever and then they miss stuff and we end up with things like Learn Apocalypse. They miss yeah. things because they have their own like optimized servers and whatnot, and it's completely yeah. different and from the actual be server. That's an issue on. now with uh, state rewind on everything and better hitboxes. Dashi you would learn. think, but well, reality it's not just it's not just like how like the game it. plays; it's how it runs as well. Like it, the game actually works on their servers. <laughs> at least back are, in Lord Apocalypse, sure? brawling worked. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You could at least AMS Lerms, whereas with PPCs, no. you just die. Uh, yeah, true, yeah. true. But I have I've had I've had matches where you have four AMSs from two Stalker Five Ss and yeah. you cannot take on like an LRM fifty. Me too. Even even you though we're not die. the targets, you just no, we're not the targets. We are. There's an oh. LRM guy. We're between the guy who he's targeting, and we are trying to shoot down. The, just a constant LRM fifty stream, and it's. I I'm I'm starting to think it's it, it's based on also like the volley size as well. Like if he's had like a single burst of twenties instead of it is how, how they stagger. It bases on the volley, and then it removes percentages based on how many AMS you have. And each shot fired by the AMS has a percent to hit. It's yeah. very RNG. It, it deal, uh, For some Th reason. Thomas mentioned that uh, AMS... Missiles have one health, health, one hit point. AMS deals they one hit... Do. And then AMS deals one damage to a missile. And then our NARC, uh, NARC missiles have two hit points. So NARCs are special, kids. Uh, yes, yes, NARCs are very special. They're special, so the special kids have something to feel special about. And, Th and Thomas talks how narc is something he likes to do, and he's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if it was actually useful. I at this point, I've used it so little, I have no idea if narc actually locks on like a regular missile, or if it's just an unguided rocket. It's not it No, narc I think like the one time I've used it, the no, one time it's... I've used it was when I was sitting in a... a, a Trial trebuchet for the trebuchet throwdown that we had <laughs> with the ponies. That's what I ever used. For that reason, I had no idea whether or not I was actually shooting the nar because I was just kind of mashing the button. It's an unguided <laughs> nerf dart that comes right no. out. Yes, it's, it fires Thomas exactly like an it. SRM one. Yeah. Just consider it like an SRM one with no damage. A very yeah. slow SRM one. No, it it flies at three hundred. It flies at the same speed as wow. a, a regular SRM shot. Wow, and you have to so you have to you have to correct for your tar ballistic decay and all that, whatever. As a very good beacon. Extremely useful. I can see why so many use it. It's three tons. It, it, it weighs as much. It weighs as much Dick's as SRM6. Six per ammo. Yeah. And we, we've, we've, we've been telling them double the ammo. Maybe one person in the entire game might carry it. Ever. Yeah. Even that. Well, the uh, thing I with don't... narcs is that it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Narcs are supposed to home unguided missiles. Yep. You and don't they even have don't to do, do that. that. They just you reduce the launch on time, which is yeah. just a really stupid mechanic. If, they really, if, you... if you look on YouTube, there's a fine uh, piece of video from Neck Warrior 3 where they show how NARC actually works. They have an Orion that shoots a NARC off against something, and then they st stand around and fire missiles up into there, and they all come down to the NARC point, no matter what. That's, That's how yeah, exactly. what they really need to do for yes. it, is if they want to make it efficient, and 
I don't know why it doesn't do that. It doesn't even have to make unguided missiles lock onto things, because God knows that would make splat cats absolutely terrifying oh even worse than they already <laughs> advanced, are. Advanced tactical splat cat. But what they would, all they really need to do is make it so that way. If you hit somebody with NARC, everybody on your team can lock onto them, yeah, and missiles can lock onto too. them without line of sight. That's it. That's, that's a, all you need. That's a ele an elegant change. But hey, I like, don't that's think that's the way that, that I assume that they work free, until I realize oh, yeah, they, they actually don't. Free yeah, and they need. That, oh, no. yeah, they need to have the tonnage that you Narc know takes. Here's what I would like to see: if something is not, I, I want to see an advanced. Yeah, I think the Narc is so useless because they cannot go in and change the values. Like they can't make it not three tons. Wasn't it three but, tons of Mech Warrior Four though? Yeah. I think it was. No, it was either three tons. Always been three tons. Inner Sphere is three tons. Clan is uh, one ton. One. Clan is really light, but. Look at that! No. They did it for Mech Warrior 4. Why can't we do it now? Because Hell, they put Mech, coolant Mech in the Warrior game. Four. Yeah, We're yeah, full Mech Warrior 4 mode. For whatever reason, they've got this fucking uh, what? What would the word be? It's like Mech Warrior 4 is taboo, so they they flip out. No, and... they've already yeah, included then, coolant. But they're playing. Mech they're Warrior already yeah, talking about including freaking third I person. I know. <laughs> At they, what point it, are we not Mech yep. Warrior 4? Yep. They flip out over Mech Assault. It's like, they, I was playing Mech Assault, and that was great that it came out, but it, that's oh my Mech Warrior, no, you know. No, no, no. Oh my god. Problem there is, I'd be, I'd be happy with Mech Warrior 4 with updated graphics, but this isn't that good. Yeah, Jude oh. got to play it, and he loved it. I played it. I played it League <laughs> Play. I, I still play it, yeah. yeah. I played I it League Play too, and I hated player. every minute of it. <laughs> I only played Mech Warrior 4 single player after a brief stint in. Yeah, I mean, I, I would never it fucking touch the online play in Mech Warrior 4 because. <laughs> yeah, and that's that, why you think that it would be okay. nice to have Everyone Mech Warrior has... 4 HD again because if it was Mech Warrior 4 days. HD, which is it's, it's what we have. That's the problem. Currently, yes, and we're getting more Rolling Hills maps, so <laughs> you know, well, it was good while it lasted. I'm getting Time canyons to head next back month. To Mech Warrior 3. Canyons and the blackjack. <laughs> jump jet yeah. problems. Dashing asks about jump jet problems. Uh, uh, reticle shake, uh, convergence slowing. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing that yes, I don't know. Yes, when you jump, when you Real hit the jump jet button, shake. they don't when want random the number button, generators. It jump, when you hit the jump jet button, your reticle does shake for like half a second. All they got to do is make it, you know, that way for the entire Wobble. time that you're jumping. Or they could just do it like how Crisis Free or whatever else other game out there would do it. Yeah, in the Brian, air, your, gu your like... guns are very ineffective. But it's not really random because your stats will still go where the reticle's going. So as long as you can, you know, kind of figure out and time it right, you can still hit people in the chest. It just makes it very hard to do so, which would well, be that, accurate that to tabletop, which is one of those things where we probably should take something from tabletop. You get a plus three to hit on tabletop when you jump immediately before firing. Oh, oh, and I don't see yeah. why there shouldn't be a similar Cocaine penalty Samurai when says you're no zoom while jumping. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, that, I don't know about that. That would yeah. solve some problems. Yes. Man, that would be really good. Uh, that would be excellent. Z yeah, no, no, no zoom while jumping, no random number generator to deal with. So you can shoot anybody wherever you want if they're right next to you, but you can't zoom in the air. No zooming in the air. My yeah, only concern not... with that would be that you'd probably it have to make sense hit a if you could still no, easily no. hit people while jump jetting if you're using like short range weapons, but you should not be able to do it with Gauss rifles and PPCs. No, no, no. Even range. with Gauss rifles, I think that it's fine so long as they're not zoomed in. So long as they're not trying to go for something, you know, with like okay. The thing is that we want to stop pop tarting, but we don't want to stop like light mechs and medium mechs that are super agile. And let's say that I mean, a security I like that he posted they do, right? in the thread a while back where he said that, and I think he even mentioned it on NGNG to Garth, and he said where when you're lightweight, you have very little reticle shake, but the heavier you get, the worse it gets. That yes. I like. Yeah, a scale. That should also be in the game, like, we're walking up the fucking hills. We shouldn't be acting like we're on open steps. I don't know, I kind of I kind of like we my... Mass Effect Mako movement on Alpine. Oh. I do find it kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, you can move My only disappointment being that forever. when I hit the jump tits, I don't go flying off, you know, horizontally. Oh, Whispers mentions Gauss and PPC not having recoil. I remember in Mechware 3, you'd find an arm mounted PPC or a Gauss, you, you, you'd see the reticle shit, uh, recoil from in that direction. Yeah, there was recoil to all those guns that game, the big ballistics, including PPC. 
which I think was more of a more of a graphical touch than anything. I didn't really. I can't. Well, I can't to be wait. honest. Um, I'm assuming that at some point we may end up doing a time skip so people can get their later on mechs and whatnot because PGI will want the money that people will throw down to get a cougar or something. And at that point, we'll get heavy Goss rifles and people will <laughs> somebody somebody will want the heavy Goss rifle we fall want down mechanic that's in yeah, the clan real gun. Mech tasers. I was gonna say, the biggest problem with the machine gun right now is that we are in the year 3050 and not 3068, where we have machine gun arrays. User I was gonna say that the biggest channel. problem with machine gun is that PGI refuses to make weapons and insists they be shit. Paul said, said they were gonna touch spread and damage. And the biggest spread. problem with yeah. the machine gun is it's an anti-infantry weapon! I yeah. agree! It's completely I, I will... useless against mechs, that's why it does two points of damage to them! You mean yeah, point I have, zero I have, two damage? I have no idea oh, why. Apparently, people <laughs> on the forums were so incensed over the fact that machine guns didn't do enough damage that they were willing to completely ignore the fact that we've got a massive pop tart pop tart hey, problem. Remember when yeah. people were saying that machine guns totally had through armor criticals? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I have, the, I have video. Oh, God. Of They're crit seeking me. Somebody, <laughs> hey, somebody face hug me with a bunch of machine guns once while I was on my hunchback, and I just kind of popped him twice with the AC-20 and watched him fall over. It was fantastic. <laughs> Man, I just remember that video that, I think it was, I wasn't it Wolfclaw that made that one video where he had a hunchback that had like three machine guns in it and he just kept firing at the guy. I'm totally and... crit-seeking. Yeah, I'm yeah, totally crit-seeking, you guys. That was Wolfclaw. The guy was overheating Golly. and doing damage to himself. I remember and another when... video was a whole bunch of goons, like eight goons, with twin machine guns in Atlas is shooting up on Awesome for two minutes. They, they barely not... stripped the armor. Was it to prove a point? <laughs> yep. Probably. Like, let's, do the goons let's ever do anything show. in this game not to prove a point when they're playing? Well, we do the same thing. <laughs> That's true. Look at Steak Sauce. Look what I did. <laughs> Steak Sauce not... and Kellogg's, yeah. Let's not yes, fucking show any of the machine gun bit to Joseph Milan. Because if we do that, he's going to fucking have a heart attack and die. And then we'll be, you know... Will be negligent for his death. <laughs> that, you do not, that would be pretty bad. You do not mention machine guns to Joseph Milan. Oh. If you do, he's got to have a little chat with you. Well, <laughs> and it's going to go for old four army guys days. For and four their machine days guns. About how he knows about machine guns because he was in the Marine Corps. Yeah. Fucking. So, also, one other myth from the old days: hitting a uh, hitting a component with energy weapons and then hitting it with a ballistic. Oh god. Oh bullshit. Softening the armor. <laughs> remember that? Oh, <laughs> I don't remember that. The one, only good thing glad energy don't. did back then was it lit up mechs who were dark as hell and then they glowed yep. for the rest of the match and they could fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> I oh, yeah. people were like the, <laughs> the solar cat. Ones are, I the lit ones that was do extra terrible. damage. If you shoot the lit ones they'll die faster. <laughs> Uh, no, Holy. they won't. Yes, if it they glows, will. I swear, it that was actually... My I dad put, works I, for I put PGI. a flip on my lights so I could go paint a target, quote-unquote. Oh. <laughs> We've uh, all done that. Chim, We've all Chim done has mentioned, fire uh, to the enemies. Chim, Chim has mentioned the old, the video where uh, he, he like got behind the Atlas with the machine guns when they up first did the crit-seeking patch, and then he literally sits there to deal 69 damage, which is like the entire health of the center torso, to prove that there are no, no such thing as engine criticals. You only, lo you only yeah. lose the XL engine because the, the side torso has no health. Explodes. And then, yep. and it's not because you got engine critted. You, you, side torso loses all health, and therefore it triggers, you know, uh, it flips a bit that the says, XL, you are dead. And you die. Yeah. And That's then, all there uh, is to it. Dashing here mentions heat sinks and standing in water. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Which is now completely useless this because... This does work! Because with yeah, doves, doves. Yeah. Uh, it, you need it, singles. It, it might work for, like, a Jenner or a Commando where there are submarines. Yeah. I don't believe Fun it fact. actually works on any part of the mech that is not the legs, though. Yeah, no, it, no, it, it works, works on the legs. Works I can, I can verify that. I, uh, any part. I I've got a Raven, and I've made it a submarine at various points. Yeah. And I always use doubles, and I never have anything go down faster. I think According it might Thomas, only be because of singles. It, yeah. I, Thomas, think, I think it might not actually work for doubles no matter what. I'm not Thomas sure why said it works if that, torso, if, that torso, if that component is being touched by water, even if it's in your torso, 
the du the dubs will work, but how many small oh. necks do we have? It's only up to like a Jenner. Anything bigger? When it's a submarine, yeah. you're, you're knee deep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, just a uh, just to touch up on that, they said they might be doing a little bit more with water, as in uh, slowing down max drag, as actual through. water drag. Uh, which should now, have been what if they did this and also applied it to other forms of liquids, like uh, a lava map, where if you walk through it, obviously it's going to make you hot as hell, but you can use it to cross over to high advantage. Uh, you guys think they're going to do something like that, or are we going to be? There's a volcano map. No we idea are getting what it's volcano do. maps. Or no, no, no. I hate to say this. I hate to say this. Jump jet over the lava because obviously, but you don't want like water. You don't like a water on water hazard in the game. Like I said, they don't want they don't want uh, randomness. So you don't want the lava to. I can understand heat, like the caldera. That's more. Well, that's of not a random. That, risk that's choosing like reward. okay, do I? And there's also bridges. On, I mean, the only map that has water has bridges, but no one ever yeah. uses them because you're gonna get your <laughs> shit shot off if you try to jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So and if you move 50% well, speed through the water, then people would use the bridges. Yeah, Kalis mentioned might, the yep, change. Yep, you could go twice. You could go twice as fast. Kalis mentions that there should have lanes specifically for jump jet ma ma mechs. That's good map design. It is. There's they should very, have yeah, more uh, more design. towers you ah. can stand on. But uh, like, I, 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 I think I, I, oh, I was I muted. Think, sorry. Um, the jump jet thing, the the routes only for jump jet mechs. That is actually in the game. Uh, on Forest Colony Snow, yeah. there's certain routes that only jump That's jet cool. mechs can take because compared to Forest Colony Regular, uh, Forest Colony Snow has certain routes that are blocked that... off by snow and rocks. You're and talking stuff. about the point next to the tower. Right. Yeah, the, 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 the path next to the tower, right behind the radio. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's yeah. that, and then Gosh. on, on uh, River or Frozen City, you can you have the sort of the downward canyon spot where it, it's pretty much, if you don't have jump jets, you're not getting out of there anytime soon. There's, yeah. there's that. The Jenner, That's Jenner Highway. Near, near, there's, there's one yeah, spot near it, the Jenner. There's one spot near the Jenner Highway. It's called the Jenner Highway for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Every single thing in the game has a name. That's funny. But Kayla said he's talking about entire lanes. Well, yeah, we the, should the, the have part, that. The, the other part of that is that you'll only, you'll have certain uh, only. Only these mechs will go this way, and they'll be the only mechs that see that part. Like the, I was watching NG NG TV, and there was a part of. Uh, Ter Termaline Desert that I've never been to in my entire life. I'm like, there's like another crashed dropship that I've never seen before, and it's not the mo Ooh. it's not the mammoth. It's like another one. There is. It's like there's. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, where the, I've where, seen the it. where the yeah. They sure had to find it. Yeah, it was on NGNG because I was watching it at work. I had nothing else to do, and uh, I'm like, wait a second, that's that looks like the crashed dropship on Frozen City, but I only know there's a mammoth. I'm like, I know there's a dead there's a dead hunchback. I'm like, wait. This is a part of the map I've never been to since I'm playing Conquest, and, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I've only played Termaline Conquest like three times in my entire life. Hey, Gone. remember the first time me and Haruka uploaded those pictures of the the boat frozen out in the lake on Frozen yeah. City? That I that was scary. No one goes there. Like literally, no one goes around the maps. Well, I think that's a problem with. Kind of how we all spawn in one big group. Uh, I we all want, we all want to stick together, be... go the same direction, provide the and most Exactly. Fire. Once you get the death Map ball the rolling, sign. there's never a good reason to leave it unless you're a light, because when you roll into the other death ball, you're going to get obliterated. So you never leave it. Which is a part of the bad map design. You shouldn't spawn as one big eight man group, you should spawn as like two four man groups. Different lances, Kayla says. That's right. Pretty big right. distance apart. The multiple yeah, spawn drops. points and it should split up the lances <coughs> at the beginning. I can't Every guarantee that that would be, be a different. good idea because I guarantee you, as soon as we do that, as soon as you as soon as you do that, what's going to end up happening? Somebody at the beginning of every match is going to go, okay, we're all going to meet here, and everyone's going to go there. Anyways, just yeah, it, just, it just means but slower mechs will take still... longer to get there. Yeah, uh, but they should, I think that would still it, be a good experiment to have for a while to see if it works. That could put them hey, in a bad you could position. put them on opposite sides of the map, and then also put the enemy team on opposite sides of the map. So, like, okay, let's say that uh, north, south, east, west are the sides of the map. Um, one team could spawn four on north, four on south, and the other team could spawn four on west and four on east. Exactly. Yeah. And there's a hill and in the center. And you could even the alternate yeah. those. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, do, I don't Why think don't it would we... necessarily stop deathballing, but I do think it would really introduce some interesting concepts to the game. Why don't we have King of the Hill? I don't know. Because then it would just be all assaults. Yeah. It would be all <laughs> you mean like there <laughs> no, isn't all assaults? The ravens too. capping the hill. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so it's stop a... Oh my god, only <laughs> Highlanders and Atlases, what are you saying? Too many games in my team, it was a great uh, player base. To have, uh, oh, when are, when are we going to get Remember Halo, dropships? Halo's got what they called Crazy King, where the, the hill just moves, and everyone's got to scramble around to go get to it again. That might be interesting, I think, but at the same time, you see a lot of light backs, and then the occasional or, or, heavier assaults to smash anything that sits at the base. Yeah. I, actually, I can imagine that where the lights are off, the little laser po laser uh, wrestling ring is off, and then it turns on when that point's <laughs> active. But when you can actually capture it and get it's active for a reason, and not just your red or green or flashing. I had a, an idea for a game type where basically, you know, each team gets a light. The matchmaker pulls you a light, and then from there, uh, you have to send the light over to the enemy base, and he has to sit in this teeny tiny square. And he, like, downloads some data or whatever, and he's got to run it back to his base to sit there again and hold still on a teeny tiny square. So what happens is you have to defend, escort, escort the, yeah, these lights <laughs> to the enemy bases to steal the data and bring it back. And it would work. Probably Daddy mentions better than what escorts, we have now. Uh, mobile field bases, make them all, the hill, and teams would fight yeah. over the convoy, and the winner gets what, what they're carrying. Uh, Chim's like mentioned idea, game modes. Do it in reverse. It's an assault. The light mech has uh, the data or whatever you need right at the beginning, and you have to get them over there. Yeah, I, that I way was you can try to sneak left or right, or try to that, get them in there where you have the main battle going on. But I was suggesting that since the olden days, like what make if one mech assault. has something? He has something that you have to bring somewhere, like the bomb in Counter Strike. So he's he's integral. You have to get somewhere with him. One team assaults, but, one team defends. Yeah, but they didn't, they didn't do that. Uh, no, Krunk's we... concern is that escort missions would turn to sniping, snipers blowing away everyone before it yes. can reach the target and defend it. Which you saw would solve by either map design or not having escort missions. The point is, escort missions are better than what we have now, which is kind of sad. Chim says you want, to, escort you want to capture it, not destroy and it. And we have to move through water. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I always wondered why they don't have... <sighs> Like a lobby, and then you have, like, like, bear with me, they have the lobby, you have all the players on your side, so you see who's on which side, you can do some chatting, pick out one commander on each side, and he, in secrecy, picks a spot where he drops his base. You get your fucking oil rig for mining the Gundanium with the laser fences. <laughs> but it's, it's not in the same spot all the same, same time. You can move it around. Not always rushing to this fucking square. Why, yeah, why didn't we? Yeah, but get that? let's be totally honest. How many people? How many? How many developers are there that can are competent enough to do a, an actual like pseudo RTS sort of thing like that? I mean, Dice can't even do it anymore. It's like yeah, but Dice. Dead and buried, man. Dead and buried. Uh, I, I, I think natural you. selection has something kind of like that. Kind yeah, that's of what like I said. That. It's a bit more um, modular, but. In uh, Joint Operations, they had a mode called Advanced and Secure, which is a lot like Rush, except what if the defending team could recapture the MCOM that's already been blown up? And there were certain maps that they... Uh, some of the larger maps, and a few of the smaller maps, where you had to just... The, you would capture a base by having a lot of people inside of a circle that's like 500 meters... Uh, it's 500, 500 meter diameter. And you'd ha if, if you could raise your flag, or someone else could... Uh, block your flag cap with more players, and then you'd lower your flag. So you'd have to have defenders, and then you'd have to have attackers. So you'd have to have, like, three people defending, yeah. and then five people Wait. going out to attack their three flag, <coughs> and hopefully, and a medic to revive a guy who's fallen, so you can keep, you can keep your numbers up. And you'd have, a, like, a pa actually, assault in Unreal Tournament 2K4. That's how yeah. it was. You had to unlock, you, you could unlock a, a point, and Always once you captured it, it would king. open up another node. And then, then they can capture all the node. nodes. But the, the the problem we're talking about there is that some of these joint operations, when the when they when Nova Logic uh first released the game, six hour map rotations. Yeah. <laughs> they were, in college, oh we would play okay. like two maps a day. So let's uh, let's talk about Operation Steak Sauce. <laughs> it may have been a successful one, actually. It was major successful. It's still going it on. Must it must I don't think it was. Been. I don't think it was successful so much as find, somebody finding out that SRMs were actually broken was what yeah. actually stopped it. And they could replicate yeah. it in in a live, not just in training grounds. But PGI did go out and add uh, 
sort of kind of pretend nerves to the catapults. They did it to all of them, mine. They did it to everything. They fucking no, hurt no. the missiles into something. the ground. There it was, was the missiles reaction. that hurt the catapults. Yeah, there, there they didn't do enough reaction. to the catapult. As it is, it still has almost the same twist rate if you apply twist X to it. Um, so they didn't really do enough, because that was always the big problem, was the fact that they could yeah. boat pretty much any gun in the game, and it had a ridiculous twist. And the twist is still going to be an issue once missiles come back. That's For the, the record, problem. Uh, my A1 can still two-shot everything with its SRMs. So much for that missile nerf when you have six slots, right? But yeah. SRMs are completely useless. They, they hurt weapons, they didn't hurt the <sighs> chassis, again. They continue to fail on it. Catapult! The white whale, it's indestructible. Right, and, and like I said, it's not necessarily that the catapult's broken or the weapons that it's used, it's been using are broken, which seems to be the way PGI always addresses it. It's the fact that the chassis is unbalanced, not broken, yeah. and needs to be brought back in line with the other chassis in its class. That's the problem. Or if they don't want to bring it in line with the others of the class, then they should bring the rest of the class up to the level of the White Whale. But that's a lot more it, work, so it's easier to bring it yeah. down, I think. Obviously, but... Something has to be done, either way. Yep. Four operations take us cut short by missile nerfs. Now no, we have highlights. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. It did exactly <laughs> what I wanted it to do. Ruined your Atlas collection? Well, oh, no, it's silenced. All right, really. we're, we're at one hour and 40 <laughs> minutes, guys. You might want to consider getting close to closing. Yeah, we probably I, I should think wrap we're this up. Closing. So, I thought we were at closing an hour ago, and we just yeah, kind of have an off ago. after party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, we got Norris to tell his stories, and we talked about the meta. And talked about also... everything. Yeah, and with, with our you know patches what? And... Did we talk about our cats? home planet? <laughs> we did not talk about our home planet. <laughs> and, and the fun thing we is... Have you heard about my planet. home planet? It was attacked once. Uh, tell it's me actually, about It's being attacked right now. We're no. just not hearing about it because we're in the inner sphere and we can't get access to Clancy and My home planet! <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, All right. I think this was a success. And, and I yep. too. Alright, so that's Comcast. And remember, everybody, go Wait, and Did we even talk likes. to Limery? Uh, Limery's been no, rushed and muted. muted. <laughs> Why? Limery's muted. They leave. Oh yeah, friendly wait, wait, reminder. Wait. Uh, since the general is now in ashes and there's no way to congregate, uh, anyone and everyone is welcome to come drop with us. Just yes. the easy way to find us. Go to boards b o a r d s dot four chan dot org slash v g victor gamma and just hit the button. Hit the button that says <laughs> nice hit the button that says victor catalog up at the top. Gamma. Hit control F for search and just type in Mech Warrior and it'll pull right up. Or yep. M W O. <laughs> no, no Mech Warrior has online. fucked the hyperpulse generators. We should Mech be good. Mech Warrior yeah. Online is always the first two words followed by a subtitle. Yeah. And anybody who has any complaints with this podcast, well, it is a beta. <laughs> 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 <laughs>